this is Dr. Luis Ange, and today I'm going to show you how to, how to prepare a model for 3D printing. Okay, now that we have here the model, now I'm going to prepare this for 3D printing. First thing I need to do, I need to go to analysis and inspector to see if there is any problems with the meshes. Okay, we can report, report, uh, uh, repair them one by one. Okay, I prefer to see how the software is dealing with the problems with the mesh here the problem is that the mesh is open but i don't want to close it okay because i want to do um, a base for this model okay so now i'm going to press the letter w to have the access to all the triangles that that are uh, in the mesh okay and i'm gonna select with the smallest size brush Double click the border, okay. Now every triangle in the border is selected, and I, I'm gonna uh, do a, a shortcut which is press the, the letters O, B, A, okay. And unfortunately, there is something that is going on in the mesh that does not allow me to properly see and smooth the boundaries so I will just clear selection and I will press the letter S to select and I will try to, to properly uh, repair the mesh in this case that I can see for example here okay I don't like the mesh here maybe here I should close this too Okay, I don't want this part. Okay, maybe this one is not needed. Alright, here I can take this. Maybe here also I can make a little adjustment. Alright, let's take a look if I, we can do it now. So press the, le the letter W, go into the border to see the last triangle and then press the letters OBA just to check if everything goes just fine yes as you can see the border is now smoother okay and then I can press the letter T which will appear some kind of arrows that we can change the orientation by click on W and then I can expand my base from this model okay and I go it big like this okay it's because after I can trim and I can cut okay so I have this kind aspect okay I like it except okay now I go into edit and go to plane cut and I will make a smooth cut so this sometimes it appears like this so the transparent part is the part that will be cut off okay and the remaining part the the part that is gray it will be uh, left um, intact so what I want to do I want to change because I want the teeth so I will click on this arrow blue arrow okay and it will flip the sides okay now I can adjust the position of this plane that will perform the cut okay in this case I want a little bit of the palatal surface because I want this is a, a mock-up model so I want to make sure that I have some kind of support for my silicon matrix okay I'm just gonna adjust the orientation of this plane a little bit more it looks better maybe I can cut a little bit more sorry okay now it looks okay and I can accept alright so now I have my model but 
if I go to plain cut again, as you can see, and I will cut it like this, as you can see, my model is completely filled, is completely solid, okay? I will spend a lot of resin trying to print it like this, okay? So what I'm going to do, sorry, I don't want to accept this. I will do Control Z, all right? All right, and now that I have this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and to edit and click on Allo so that I can make my model hollow. Okay, so this is my hollow model, and I can generate holes, okay, per Allo, okay, and I will generate a couple of them that will be placed somewhere like this in places that do not interfere with the anatomy okay and i can click on accept all right so if you want you can go to inspector again to check if there's any things wrong okay you can properly uh, correct the problems okay it's done and now we can go on export and you can save the model ready i hope you find this useful please subscribe for more tips and tricks about digital dentistry bye bye